Hey, how's it going? Dylan here. Today I'll be speaking about The Crown Season 2. I just finished up watching The Crown Season 2. I was quite a fan of the first season, which came out on Netflix last year, I believe, or is it the beginning of the year? I think it was last year. Time flies. Um, Basically, The Crown obviously follows, as the name suggests, the kind of fictionalised history of the Windsor family in the UK, the Queen, etc, etc. The first series followed one thread of, like, what, one or two or three threads of story, but there was kind of one continuous story that came together, and it was like a serialised um, one-story arc series kind of thing with the subplots along the way. And one of the main differences that you're going to have with when you go to watch season two is that it's much more contained into, I guess you could say, three or four separate story arcs. Um, It's very evident in the first two story arcs that it shows, um, like only a couple of episodes each, and they feel very separate. They don't connect a lot. Like There's a few threads that come through, but most of the you could watch them as individual stories, parts of that history. And towards the end of the season, uh, the episodes feel more like season one, where it's just one kind of story with multiple threads, uh, whereas the first section of the season is very contained. And I don't know if I like it or not. It was definitely easier to not binge on it that way because I kind of watched two episodes the first night and... I left it at that because it felt like that's, that thread had been tied up and finished. And same with the second part. I think one of them only even lasts one episode, so it's very, very contained. I think I quite enjoyed the series. Um, very interesting stuff. Kind of stuff I already kind of knew um, about the situations and I've read up on that kind of history before. And it kind of all fell into place. Really lovely shot, like really well shot, good cinematography just like the first season and uh, every every frame looks like a painting basically acting's top notch I think Claire Foy that plays the Queen did a even better job than season one she gets a lot more kind of emotional output I guess um, in this season and definitely Matt Smith who plays um, the Queen's husband and he is fantastic in the season. I really enjoyed his acting in the season. The first season, he kind of felt a bit more muted. Uh, he didn't have as much lines, I don't think. So I think this time he really got to shine. I kind of miss having uh, Winston Churchill in the series, obviously, but he's not. He's out of the picture by the time this one's set. Overall, really enjoyable, and uh, I had a fun time watching it over about three nights or so. Looking forward to season three, where they're going to change up all the actors because they need to get older, obviously. I'm not going to just age them with makeup. Like, I hate it when series do that. Sometimes they can do it well, but not often. If you enjoyed the first season, definitely check season two out, uh, as it's really great. Feels like it went by really fast, which is a good thing. Didn't drag out anything, really. Um, Very interesting stuff. All right. Sorry for the quick video today, but as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment if you have any suggestions, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button below. I'm going to be trying to do more videos, I know I always say that, but so far we're on a roll this week, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Enjoy.